Hi guys, this is the Real Mrs. MVP. Today I'm going to show you how to make an ombre hairstyle. Um, this one I'm going to do is going to be blonde and brown, but you can substitute any two colors that you want to. Um, to begin, we're going to go to File, New, and we're going to go with 256 by 256 just because the filters run um, better on smaller smaller um, images. Um, you can go bigger. You might have to run your filters a couple of times on um, bigger file sizes. So just have these settings in and click OK. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. And then I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm going to go down to the I'm going to go down to the color pickers and I'm going to click on the foreground color, which is black right now for me. And I'm going to pick a blondish color shade. Um, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with DBCF. A0. Click OK. Then go to your brush tool and click on that and then go up to this little arrow here. And we want 0% hardness but we want something much bigger than than is there right now. I'm just going to choose one actually I'm going to make it a little, yeah, no, 128 is good because it's exactly half of the size of the um, canvas here. And I'm going to position it approximately like this, and I'm, then I'm going to hold down, I'm going to click, and then I'm going to hold down the shift key, and I'm going to drag all the way across the canvas, just going to color it in a bit better. I might even put in a little bit more. This looks good. I'm just going to make sure that my layers panel is showing here. And I'm not going to make a new layer yet. I'm just going to go back to the foreground color picker. We click on it, and then I'm going to bring this down, and I'm going to pick a nice, rich brown. And this one is 42280E. Click OK. Make sure that you still have your paintbrush icon selected. Everything is the same. And then click outside, hold down your shift key, and drag all the way across. Pulling down the shift key keeps it straight so that you don't do something like this. I'm just going to undo that. Um, just make sure that your entire canvas is, you know, there's no transparent areas, but if you think that there are, you can always duplicate your layer. You can go over to your layer here in the layers palette, right click and duplicate your layer, click OK, and then right click on the second layer and merge down just to be sure. <coughs> there are other ways that you can do this. If you know other ways, you can try it too. I just want to do this because it leaves a soft hazy edge here, which is what we want. Um, I have to add the shine in here. So I'm going to go back down to the color picker and I'm going to set the default colors and then I'm going to reverse them because I need white. Then I'm going to click on white and I'm going to make the brush here smaller. I'm going to choose probably a 50. That looks good. And then about halfway through your blonde, I need you to click, hold down your shift key, and drag across. And about halfway through your brown, I want you to click, hold down your shift key, and drag across. And these are going to be the shine layers. Then I want you to go to filter, noise, add noise, and 34% is too much. I'm going to go with, say, 14%. Make sure that it's gaussian and monochromatic. If it's not monochromatic, you're going to have like these rainbow colors, and you don't want that if you're going to try to make a more realistic type of hair texture. And if you chose uniform, the little bits are smaller. It depends on what you're actually looking for. But I'm going to go with gaussian and monochromatic. Click OK. Now that we have that, I'm going to go to filter, brush strokes, spatter. And the reason why I like spatter is because it makes things more chunky and more like regular hair.
to me. I like the way that it looks. You don't have to run the spatter filter, but I like it. I make sure that everything's all the way over to the right, 25 and 15. Click OK. Then go to Filter, Brush Strokes, Spray Strokes. And again, I make sure that everything is all the way over to the right, 20 and 25 for this one. And click, make sure that this drop down stroke direction says vertical. Because if it's any other way, it's not going to look like, you know, vertical hair. My hair actually falls. Anyway, click OK. And now that we have that, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to zoom back in. And then I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. And you want the angle to be 90. And I think that's a bit much for this one. We'll try 43. Um, let's see. I like 25 for this one. Um, now that you have that, click OK. I'm going to zoom back out here. The blonde looks really good, but I don't like the way that the brown looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click this icon, the Create New Layer icon. I'm going to create a new layer. And then I'm going to go to a nice rich brown color. I'm going to go to the color picker. And once that's up, I'm going to go to a nice deep brown, 3C220A, and click OK. Then I'm going to go back to the paintbrush icon, and it has to be a soft one. 50 is OK for this one. So this is what we had brush on. This is OK. And then I'm going to color this layer over this one a bit, just where the shine is, because the shine was a bit too white for this one. Okay, that looks okay. And then I'm going to go to my layer overlay setting, and I'm going to experiment a little here, so bear with me. Multiply actually looks good, but I'm going to have it, uh, let me see. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. That one looks pretty good. Multiply overlay at 89%, but I'm going to run the motion blur filter so that right here it's a little... Actually, I could go with... Go back to the brush and color in a little bit because the settings are already correct. That looks really good to me. I mean, you can obviously make it, make the dip, the ombre part, a little bit smaller or bigger. This is a little teeny bit better than halfway, but it looks really good to me. Um, if you wanted to add more shine now, you could to make it a bit nicer. But I think it looks really good the way it is in my opinion. So this is how you make an ombre hair texture. I hope that I've helped you. Please click like and comment. Commenting helps keep my videos um, it ups the activity on my videos and helps me get noticed on YouTube. Um, if you like the video, let me know. If you have a problem with it, let me know that too so I can fix it. Thank you for watching. Bye.